Do you have a thyroid problem? Do you have a question in your mind that what all food I must include in my diet so that my thyroid health will be better? If yes, then stay tuned with me. We are going to discuss that in our today's topic. Namaste. My name is Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel. I am an endocrinologist, hormone specialist doctor from Mumbai, India. In the previous video, we spoke about what all foods you should not eat to maintain a good health of a thyroid. If you have not watched that video on the i button, there is a link. You can click on that link and this video will be played for you. So that video has been appreciated by plenty many people and I have got many comments. Many people have told me that doctor, you have mentioned about what all foods not to eat. Now kindly mention what all foods we should include in our diet to make our thyroid healthy. So on your special request, this topic is presented to you. If at all you want to watch this video in Hindi language, then on the i button there is a link. You can click on that link and this video will be played in Hindi language for you. अगर आपको इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखना है तो ऊपर आई बटन पे एक लिंक है अगर आप उस लिंक पे क्लिक करेंगे तो इस वीडियो को आप हिंदी भाषा में पाएंगे सो लेट्स बिगिन आवर टुडेज टॉपिक सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड देर इज नथिंग कॉल इज अ थायरॉयड डाइट थायरॉयड हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम डज नॉट हैपन बिकॉज ऑफ द मिस्टेक्स यू माइट हैव डन इन द पास इन योर डाइट Many people think that I have eaten all this food. That's why I got a thyroid problem. See, it's not that way. Thyroid problem has comes with because of the many other reasons also. So it's not that these foods cause you a thyroid problem, and you will stop these foods. You will be completely cured of the thyroid problem. Similarly, there are the foods which we are going to discuss today. If you are going to include all of them, again your thyroid. health problem will completely disappear that is a wrong statement yes after including all these food your thyroid health will definitely improve and not only your thyroid health but your overall health will also have a good improvement by the way there is no food which can completely cure your thyroid problem so please keep that in mind in the market there are lot of advertisements people see and about the thyroid cure and thyroid healing foods and all please understand there is nothing special like that all right so let's begin what are the food items which are considered to be healthy for your thyroid health so the first food that is the iodine containing food Now iodine is a very important micronutrient and it is very essential for your thyroid functioning. If your body does not have enough iodine then your thyroid will not be able to produce its hormone that is T3 and T4. Iodine is the important for your thyroid functioning. Now on an average an adult person needs 150 microgram of iodine per day. If you are a pregnant woman or if you are a lactating mother then your iodine requirement will be high. Iodine deficiency can cause a thyroid problem like hypothyroidism and a thyroid enlargement that is a goiter. Luckily thyroid uh, iodine deficiencies have not been that common nowadays. After the government's initiation of iodization of all the edible salts the iodine deficiency has come down and these kind of a health issues which are very easily preventable has been eliminated however in today's time especially in a modern era and a bigger cities people take all sorts of different salts there is a pink salt there is a rock salt there is a kosher salt there is a himalayan salt black salt and the list goes on the market is flooded with such salts now if you are going to consume such salts then also you can have an iodine deficiency by the way what kind of a salt is the ideal for a thyroid patient i have made a special video on that if you want you can watch that video and that will also give you a clear insights so iodine deficiency which is preventable by easily by consuming a iodized salt besides salt let's see what are the other uh, food sources so the first one in that is a seafood now any food item which you obtain from a sea is a high in iodine so all the fishes like a shrimp 
then cod fish tuna fish salmon fish trout all they contain iodine lobster prawns crabs again are rich in iodine then we have a seaweeds now the seaweeds are actually it's a vegetable you can get a dried seaweeds also in the market especially in a country like japan the people use seaweeds in a very high quantity in their salads and soups in india we have a one special kind of a food called as a sushi to make the sushi we use a nori sheet again that nori is nothing but it is obtained from the seaweed so these are the certain iron iodine containing food besides that the dairy products like a milk paneer cheese and a yogurt yes yogurt again is a very high in iodine content then we've got a egg a egg is again a very high in iodine one large egg can give you 16% of your total daily requirement of a iodine now people again consume egg white and they discard the egg yellow now this egg yellow which is a egg yolk again it is a high in iodine so that also has to be consumed so these are the certain iodine containing food again a prune again that's a very high in iodine contains so this is the first category of food that is a iodine containing food the second category of food is a selenium containing food now like iodine selenium is also very important for the thyroid hormone functioning now the thyroid which makes two hormone t3 and t4 to activate both of these hormone you need a selenium besides that selenium is a very good antioxidant what happens when your thyroid cells undergoes into oxidative stress the lot of free radicals which gets collected and these free radicals are very harmful so your selenium has a potential and a power to reduce these free radicals and that's how they help in a thyroid functioning so let's see what are the selenium containing food so it's mainly found in a nuts and seeds so nuts like a brazil nut hazelnut macadamia nuts pistachio these are high in a uh, selenium if you want to buy this nuts below in the description box there is a link you can buy this nuts from the amazon okay besides that the seeds especially the sunflower seeds sesame seeds flax seeds chia seeds these seeds are again high in a selenium now other vegetarian sources are like spinach then brown rice then mushroom coconut these are again high selenium containing food now if we talk about the non vegetarian food then we got a seafood seafood like a crab lobster shri shrimp then tuna salmon trout these fishes are selenium containing food another is a all the organ meat like a beef chicken mutton then turkey ham these are again selenium containing food so you can include all this food for your high selenium content the third category of food that is a zinc yes like selenium zinc is also very important for your thyroid functioning now what does the zinc do so first of all the zinc will activate the t3 and t4 thyroid hormones secondly zinc has a very special action on a tsh hormone now tsh hormone comes from your brain pituitary gland so this tsh for the right amount of tsh you need a zinc now let's see where do we get zinc from so all the legumes and beans then yogurt so these contains a good amount of the zinc besides that all the organ meats the eggs and a seafood like tuna salmon cod prawns lobsters they are rich in a zinc so zinc has a very important role to play next category is the fruits fruits like apple pear and plum they contain a very good chemical called as a pectin now when you have a thyroid imbalance at the cellular level there is a high amount of the mercury metal toxicity and the more the mercury level toxicity the more thyroid imbalance so when you take uh, apple pear and plum which contains the pectin this pectin reduces the mercury poisoning and helps in the thyroid recovery besides that the fruits like all the berries strawberry blueberry raspberry 
and the tomatoes and the colored bell peppers they all contain a high in antioxidant and again this antioxidant is wonderful for your thyroid health so do include that also in your diet now the next is a whole grains now whole grains they contain a good amount of the fiber and this fiber is not very easily digested so to digest that body has to consume more and more calorie and thus you burn more calorie and that has a important helpful in your weight management besides that when it contains a high amount of the fiber it keeps you full it keeps you satiated and you feel less hungry and that's how it suppresses your hunger being a high in fiber content it also reduces the constipation which is a common complaint of a thyroid patient so do consume whole grain items like a bread or pasta okay the next category is the green tea now the green tea is contains a very high amount of a antioxidant like a catechin now these antioxidant it reduces the cellular level stress and cellular level of the free radicals besides that the green tea is a very high in metabolism boosting so due to that it boosts your sluggish metabolism and helps you in burning a fat so do include green tea a daily 2 to 3 cups of the green tea is enough you do not have to take any kind of a green tea supplement okay the next one is the legumes and beans So legumes and beans contains not only a good amount of a zinc but also a fiber and due to high in fiber content again it helps you in a better weight management and a uh, relieves the constipation issue another super food is a avocado now avocado is considered the very good source of a good cholesterol and especially for your heart now the thyroid patient have a some or the other ailments of the heart related issue so for that to maintain you need a good amount of the avocado now besides having a good cholesterol avocado is also good in antioxidant and also good in fiber and that's how it helps in your thyroid health and the one more important is the omega 3 containing food now this omega 3 is mainly found in a fish like a cod fish tuna fish wild salmon trout all this fish contains good amount of the omega 3 now this omega 3 is not only good antioxidant but it also helps in a proper functioning of the immune system as you all know thyroid problems are most of the time autoimmune problem so that the omega 3 it reduces the autoimmunity and it helps in a better functioning of the autoimmune problems so do include all these foods in your diet if you want to have a better thyroid health and a better overall health what all foods to be skipped and not to be eaten or eaten in very little quantity in moderation i have made a special video for that on the i button there's a link you can click on that link and this video will also be available to you so if you watch both of these video all your questions pertaining to your thyroid health will be answered if you found some good information after watching this video please click on the like button if you have not subscribed to my channel do subscribe you will get more and more health related information especially diabetes thyroid and hormones there is a bell icon if you click on the bell icon as and when i will come up with my new video on thyroid or health problems you will be instantly notified thank you for joining me till now i wish you great health and soon we will meet again with a new video till then take care namaste